Hi there, and thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to be looking at Lesson 6.2, which is comparing and ordering fractions, decimals, and percents. Today we're going to be writing down seven things in our notes, so let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we want to write down is basically which format you're going to choose. When comparing fractions, decimals, and percents, it's easiest to change them all to decimals, percent, or fractions. You just have to choose whichever me method or um, format is easiest for you. Um, personally, for me, I like to compare decimals and percents. They're just easier for me to understand, but you might be a fraction person, so you're going to change them all to fractions because it's easier for you to understand fractions better. Go ahead and take time now, if you haven't, to pause the video, write everything down you see on the screen, and then click play when you're ready to move on. So this first one I'm going to show you how to do, and then the next two you're going to try on your own. The, it just says, which is greater, 3 20ths or 16%? Since both of these are in different um, formats, what I'm going to do here is just change them to the same format. I notice I already have 1%, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this 3 20ths into a percent. Remember how you do that is you just take 3 and divide it by 20, and that gives you a decimal. The decimal is 0.15. And then to change percents, or sorry, decimals to percents, you're moving it the decimal twice to the right. So one, two, that means it's 15%. So you're basically comparing 15 and 16%. Obviously, 16% is larger. So back to the question, 16% will be greater. This one you're going to try on your own. So you're going to go ahead and pause the video. Again, maybe determine are you going to use all percents or all decimals here? Once you're done comparing, click play. All right, it looks like we have percents or decimals. I'm going to change these both to decimals. If you change them both percents, you should be able to get the same answer though. Remember, whenever we're changing percents to decimals, we're going two times back to the left. So if I take 79% and scoop it once, twice to the left, I get 0.79. So I'm basically comparing 0.79 and 0.08, or 800 and 7900. 79 hundredths. Obviously 79 hundredths is going to be bigger, so when I come back to the original question, I would write down 79 percent is greater. How'd you do? These next two again, you're going to try on your own, numbers three and four. Pause the video. Once you're done, click play. So for number three, I would probably change the fraction into a percent or a decimal. How you do that is you take 7 and divide it by divide it by 25, and you get 0.28. And right away, I can already tell that 0.28 is bigger than 25%. If needed, you can change 28 into a percent, though. So you're basically comparing 25% and 28%. 28% is larger, so your answer for number 3 would be 20, not 28%. Let's put it back in that original format, 7 25ths. Okay, over here, which, which is greater, 0.49 or 94%. This one should be really obvious to you. It's going to be 94%, but just in case you didn't tell, you can change that decimal, 0.49, into a percentage. 0.49 is equal to 49%, and that is nowhere close to being bigger than 94%. How'd you do? So the next one, you're going to be reading some questions where there are three things, and you're going to put them in order from least to greatest. It says, you, your sister, and a friend take the same number of shots at a soccer goal. You make 72%, your sister makes 19 25ths, and your friend makes 67%. Who made the fewest shots? Order the numbers from least to greatest. Okay. So right off the bat, I know that I can easily compare these two numbers, the 72% and the 0.67. But what I really need to figure out is this 19 25ths. So I would just use my calculator and do 19 divided by 25. Okay, that's going to give me 76% or 0 0.76. Now I can easily see the order. Your friend would be first with the least, which is at 0.67. Next would be you for me, 72%, and then last would be your sister, because your sister had 76%, or 19 25ths, okay? So that'd be essentially how you do it. Just put them all in the same format, and then put them in order from least to greatest. Not anywhere 
more challenging, just takes you a little bit more time to do. So this next one you're going to try on your own. It's um, pretty similar to the one before. Go ahead and pause the video, try it, putting it in order. So this one says putting it in the order for most shots. So maybe put this one in an order from greatest to least. So tell me what the order is from greatest to least. Go ahead and try it. Alright, so it looks like you made 75% of your shots. Your friend can make 0.7 or 70% of their shots. 13 20ths, I'm not exactly sure, so I would just come down here and divide that one. 13 divided by 20 should give us, I think, 65. Yep, so 0.65 or 65%. So the greatest one looks like you. So greatest would be you at 75%. And then your friend at 70% or 0.7 and then your sister who made 13 twentieths of her shots for 65%. How'd you do? The la a next one you're going to try is the map shows the portions of the United States population that, li that live in five states List the five states in order by population from least to greatest. Notice you've got a mixture of fractions, decimals, and percents here. So maybe whenever you're pausing the video, try to put them all in the same format. Go ahead and try this question, ordering from least to greatest, writing the states down, and then once you're done, click play. All right, so what I went and did is I just ordered them all in two percentages. Now I know Michigan will be a 3%. Um, California will be 12%. Those are really easy. Washington, an easy way that you can get this percentage is just to make it equal to 100. 50 times 2 is 100, so 1 times 2 gives me my percentage. So Washington has 2%. And then Ohio, kind of the same thing here. 1 25th, so I know 25 can go into 100 times 4. So Ohio would be 4%. Now I can easily see my least or greatest order. The smallest percentage was Washington at 1 50th. The next one would be Michigan with 0.03 or 3%. The next one would be Ohio with 1 25th of the population of the United States. Next would be New York with 6% and last would be California with 0.12 or 12% of the United States population. How did you do on number six? The last one um, are just common, common fractions, decimals, and percents that you can take the time now to write down. Um, it's basically just an easy conversion chart for you. So once you're done um, writing it, you'll be finished with your notes. Just make sure you show me your notes once you're done for today. Thanks so much for tuning in.